Commit to changing. Commit to trying something different. Stepping outside of your box. Changing your energy. Accepting that today is going to be an amazing, it's already an amazing day. Face near bottom, stop re selfie zoom, speech off. Feelings that you feel. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is me. After dark. After a long day. And before I ran errands today, I said, you know what? Self. I said, it's time for us to unpack these, these luggages. You guys, I have not completely unpacked my luggage in almost a year and a half. So I dumped everything on the bed and believe it or not, I still have another suitcase that's not completely empty. So I'm gonna truly unpack with you all today and it's gonna be kind of fun because I've been looking for things for a while and not wanting to go in my suitcases particularly. But this is gonna feel like I'm shopping a little bit and it's gonna feel like um, Christmas a little bit over here because who knows what is over here. But that's what we're doing in this video. So if you want to unpack with me <laughs> after almost a year and a half, then keep watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe i tried to store some for you guys in a haul um from marshall's buckhead crossing so definitely check that video out don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and this is a size small i promise you this dress was probably like 9.99 no more than 12.99 and um, let me show you guys the shoes I ended up wearing with it because this was my first time getting to wear them. I was gifted the shoes. Let me see. So, guys, these are Carl Lagerfeld. Um, if you're not familiar with Carl Lagerfeld, he was the main designer for Chanel for years. So, anyway, I really think these are super cute. It's a slide-in stiletto heel sandal. And then it has the blinged out toe with the bow on them. Super cute. I wish I would have taken a picture today. I would have posted on IG, but I will try to my best to post a picture. Take a picture of myself after this um, filming this video. And in particular, try to get the shoes. I did post pictures of... Um, the shoes I tried on at Bloomingdale's, the video that I uploaded my weekend vlog. So if you wanted a closer look at those shoes, go on over to my IG. And you can find me on all things social media, vilifewithkelly.com. And it's in the description box down below. Guys, we're on our way to 200 subscribers. I'm pretty excited about that. These were on last act in Macy's. So if you know, Macy's has a clearance store. It's called Macy's Backstage. It's usually either on the top floor or the very bottom, the basement floor of the store. Kind of got to hunt it out. Um, and then they have what's called Last Act. So Last Act are the designers that are not going to make it to backstage. Um, and they just have a minimum base price that they're willing to allow um, Macy's to sell their items. So this was in Last Act. And... I've been seeing Carl Lagerfeld more and more in, everywhere. Dillard's has his shoes quite a bit and they sell out really fast. Um, so I had never, it was never like a thing I knew that we, that Macy's full line store sold Carl Lagerfeld. Um, I saw some of his uh, crossbody bags in the Macy's backstage store, but I don't shop brands guys. I just shop like cute stuff and then it ends up being you know some type of designer thing um so anyway those are the shoes that i wore today and this is a nine and a half and it's true to size if you're looking these up online if you want to find them they're all black even the bling the rhinestones are on um, black as well and 
um they're true to size so it's a perfect fit for me a 9.5 even though you guys know my true size is a 9m is in mary and i find quite a bit of 9m in uh nordstrom nordstrom rack in particular and it's like a perfect fit um if you don't have that then i just get a nine and a half so this oh the original price on these by the way was 140 dollars and the last act price it went down to 64.93 or something like that okay guys all right and so that's the one thing that's up here that was not packed i just want to show you guys out of curiosity if you wanted to see what i wore today okay let me tell you guys this real quick because i promised to tell y'all this my thoughts about the um kills ultimate kills kit um so far um this is like my third night using the nighttime products and my second day using the cleanser and the daytime products so the first day feeling i really enjoyed it um the last couple days using the nighttime products i don't like it that much I've noticed since I've opened it, um, the creamy eye treatment is watery um, and the midnight recovery, um, it's, it's, it definitely has a potent amount of lavender in it, but it just doesn't really glide. I like it to be kind of thick and like, I like that. It's the way like that Revitalizing Supreme by Estee Lauder, it's that thick delicious and it feels cool to the touch and it's just like absorbs in but it's like a pampering massage like a pan so it's like a whole experience whereas with this i'm more so just kind of like hurrying up and getting it in my face um because i kind of feel like it's going to start dripping with the eye treatment so mm, i said i was gonna get like a um q-tip tomorrow and whip it around like whip it in and just see if maybe once you remove the, the top you know the moisture like the heat in the room or whatever it is um is keeping it you know where it's doing that i don't know but i'm not in love um i do i love using eye treatments so i'm gonna finish it um and that's that but i don't know if i'm gonna repurchase it as far as the cleanser remember last the last video um i put the cleanser on my face before putting any water so it was on a dry face and i told you it was in gliding it was like really thick like a paste so i went on and took a warm towel to my face first tonight and then used the cleanser and um it, it did make it easier, but it was still very pasty. It has like a toothpaste consistency if you're used to using. Like normally, I use um, PeroxiCare by Arm & Hammer for any pimples. And I just put it right on there and it just dries it out and it's over with. So um, I can't find it right now. That's why, you know, the reason why we're unpacking these suitcases. So, um... You know that's why i've been doing the alcohol pad and all that and this is doing a lot better it's actually almost all the way healed um so i'm really happy about that i've been using creamy neosporin on it and i've been putting it on multiple times like three four five times a day so anytime i happen to run my hand past there because i'll check my eyebrows and stuff um and i feel like a crust layer or some you know i'll just because it'll be flaking and dry i'll just go in and put some more neosporin on there and it's just healing it so yes guys that's what's going on um the the power line reducer i will tell you you can feel that you can really feel it it almost like burns a little bit so don't use too much of it um but then it's like if you don't use enough you can't really feel it gliding i would probably mix it with like a little oil honestly and so that you don't have to use too much and you could get a even spread across your face and then put their moisturizer on so mm, 
I'm really and truly not in love. I'm just going to tell y'all that. I'm not in love. I will definitely let you guys know some point, like in a couple weeks or a month or so, my true feelings overall, what ended up happening. But at this time, I'm not in love and I don't see myself repurchasing it. Um, I actually see myself either trying another brand skincare um, or going back to Estee Lauder's daywear. It smells like cucumbers and I like it. It's tried and true. So we'll see to be continued. I won't be probably buying skincare again until around my birthday, which is Labor Day weekend. And that's when Estee Lauder's in gift. So it's like you get more bang for your buck. Um, and then after that, I probably won't buy anymore till next year because it'll last. It'll last me like a year. Okay, guys. So let me throw this away real quick. All right. So guys, happy Taco Tuesday. It's winning Wednesday when you guys are watching this. How many of us made it somewhere to eat tacos? Hmm? How many of us made it out? I was trying to find somewhere like that's one thing that has me stumped here in Atlanta is the fact that I really don't know where is the taco spot. Someone was telling me there's a place in Marietta, I think, um, that has great tacos, great frozen drinks. And that was a while ago. Like somebody was asking me to meet them out there. Um, and I didn't go, um, and I was like, mm, nah, I just didn't go. I was like, I don't want you. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of old school when it comes to like meeting people. Like I don't mind to meet up close to my house, you know, but like actually going like way out somewhere and I don't really know anything about it I'm probably not gonna go but like if my sister you know like somebody came down then I would go like with them in a group setting like okay yeah I'll go but just to be going mm -mm, not going oh look here goes one of my swimming suits guys it's like sometimes I want to have a a suitcase that has nothing but swimwear in it so because that's what you guys know I'm about to do y'all know I'm about to go to the beach so um it's like why unpack this suitcase that's going to the beach just to keep putting swimsuits in there I don't know but anyway um and then I have like bags with like sandals and sandal heels and stuff I did wish, okay, next time I go to the mall, y'all, I'm going to try really, really, really hard to remember to bring y'all in the stores with me. It just gets kind of challenging when I'm trying to hurry up. That's the only thing that I can't, I, it's like I'll end up, the day gets away from me. And then the next thing you know, it's like, ooh, I really need to focus on getting out of here. So then I'll be like, oh, I'll just, I'll just, um, you know unpack you know show them what i got but it's really not the same like i should have showed you guys um forever 21 you guys they had some type of sale last week at forever 21 where all the shoes all the shoes all the sandals were 50 percent off i am so mad then they had the swimming suits on sale but they do have a store-wide clearance where everything on clearance is five dollars or less I'm like, well, y'all want to clear the store out. Y'all know how to clear it. Y'all are not playing about clearing this store out. But anyway, guys, I don't think I'm truly about to unpack all this stuff with y'all because that's going to be a super long video. What I do think I'm going to do is kind of go through some of this and then come back in a clip and show you the bag and then tell you like what was in there. Maybe that'll be interesting. Who knows? Um, this possibly could be the end of this video. <laughs> Y'all see how I act? Because it's kind of like, like the longer it takes me, I'm getting sleepy. And I'm just realizing it's a lot going on. 
Like, I got my Shein order in here. Like, because I would throw, like, if I order something and I'm like, it's a possibility I want to wear some of that. I, or I could be in a situation where I need to wear some of it when I go out of town. I'll just throw the whole bag in my suitcase, which I did. And just in case. Because I hate, don't you hate go somewhere? Don't have, if somebody invites you to stuff or you, it just ends up happening. Y'all just go from one thing, you just come straight off the plane and just go from one thing to the next. And then it's like, dang, I don't have anything to wear. And then all of a sudden now you got to go, you know, GPS, a quick store or that stuff. Mm -mm. Put some monkey roots in the flow. I don't like all that. I'd rather just dig in my bag. Like, okay, great. I got this. I got this. And then just be ready to roll. Because once you make it for me, once I hit Florida, I literally want to just dig in my bag because I'm pretty much 9 times out of 10 about to put on a little dress and some heels. That's it. And if I have time, I'll throw a bikini under it just in case we end up on the beach or a boat or something. And then I'm out. And so I just want to be able to do. And then what I'll do, like on the plane, I'll like braid my hair up. And then, like, wrap it, put the bonnet on there. So, literally, if I need to go in the bathroom at the airport, I could literally take my hair down, throw, like, a cute scrunchie or something in it real quick, put the dress on, the heels, everything, and then walk out the airport ready to go straight to eat or whatever we're going to do. Like, that's the kind of girl that I am. Now, if I'm traveling for, like, training, something like that, you know a family event or something like that then i can wear like a souvenir top some shorts you know that's still like good to go and put my little gym shoes on or my little athletic sandal and you know that's that but if i'm going to the beach y'all because you never know like you make friends you make friends at your hotel by the pool you just do next thing you know they're inviting you like oh come with us to such a you know whatever and I just like having a bunch of choices in my bag. I don't like to be like, oh, I can't, such and such. But anyway, guys, I'll see y'all in the next clip. If I don't see y'all in the next clip, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all things social media. And we're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Knocking on that door of 200 subscribers. I'm super happy about that. And I'm getting ready to do a giveaway. So... Stay tuned. You never know what's next. It's the 4th of July weekend. Who's going to Essence Festival? All right, guys. Speech up. Stop recording. Stop record. Stop recording video. Stop, Stop recording. Centered. Speech off. Hi, guys. It's first thing in the morning. Um, I know the last clip I told you that it was probably going to be the end of the video or maybe I was gonna pick up where I left off but I didn't I forgot this is a part of my weekly vlog remember I promised you guys I was gonna do a weekly vlog and that was gonna be my first video for the month of July which happens to be on Friday so anyway guys um, I just wanted to show you guys what ended up happening and this is what ended up happening with me unpacking. Yes, guys. Everything got dumped back in the suitcase. Yes, I turned the lights off. And I um, got totally overwhelmed. And I went to bed. I just went and jumped back in there. And moved on with my blessed life because no i can't mm -mm. i'm gonna wait for miss cynthia here's the puppies guys here's the puppies say hey good morning they sleep right by my door it doesn't even matter it doesn't even matter oh i think my light is out in the in the um living room so i gotta get somebody to switch my light bulb because it's way up there it's too high for me guys so anyway i'm coming in the kitchen because i'm about to make me some quick breakfast and yes i really do have a bonnet on with y'all right now i'm getting ready to run some errands and go downtown atlanta which is not my favorite thing to do 
that I am since I'm going down there. I'm going to call John Marshall Law School right now and see if they answer and let me do a tour. And I'm going to um, bring you guys with me. So anyway, um, I had baked some red snapper um, the other day. And so I'm going to eat a little bit of that right now. Can y'all believe that? Yes, that's what I'm about to do. And then I have, I was looking for me some hot chocolate yesterday. And Target had condensed their um, grocery side so much. It was just a lot of things sold out. Like they haven't had any more um, paper towels, but Bounty, all the other selections are sold out. It's been like that for a while. But anyways, guys, let me get my life together and um, pick you guys up in the next clip. I should be in the truck. Um, I should be in the truck heading downtown Atlanta in the next clip. And um, we shall see how far we get um, touring John Marshall Law School, okay? All right, guys. Happy Wednesday. Speech on. Face center. Face center. Stop. Face centered. Speech off. Hi guys. We made it home. We didn't get anything done. As far as we didn't get to go to John Marshall Law School. And yeah. Didn't get to do much. We had to handle business today. So the car I was in ran low on coolant. Started doing weird stuff. I had to turn it in. Get another car. Dude, this VI life with Kelly drive? Heck yeah. I'm driving out here in these cars that drive themselves. I'm rolling, guys. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Look who's joining me, though. Speech on. Stay over here. Stay over here. Near right edge. Face. Near right edge. Near bottom right edge. <laughs> Selfie zoom. Zoomed in. Stay on the button. side. I put her on. She just likes to go from one side to the other. Hold on, guys. Near bottom edge. One face centered. Near top edge. Near right edge. Face near face near left edge. Centered. Near top edge. Near left edge. Near right edge. Near bottom right edge. Near left edge. Face near left centered. One face centered. Face centered. Speech off. This is that top I got from um, Forever 21 the other day. I showed you guys on my weekend vlog. Um, that was like $3.99. So this is the pastel yellow one in a size medium. Um, and then I have on the shorts. I showed you guys my favorite shorts from Nine West. That's what kind of day it is. I got these sandals. I actually bought these sandals before out of Macy's backstage and they came back. I bought them like three years ago or two years ago, wore them to a frazzle, threw them away and here they are again. Um, so yep guys, that's what's going on. So what am I doing right now? Guys, I'm cooking dinner. I just ate a salad. Um, I sauteed some Brussels sprouts and what's in the oven? There's baked potatoes at the top, red potatoes, and then there's sea bass, wild caught sea bass in that longer pan, lasagna pan. So I'm gonna let it cook for like another 30 minutes and then bon appetit. I really like fish and rice, but I ran out, so I'm making potatoes. Plus I give my puppies potatoes. I let them have like table food a couple times a week. I don't like them just eating processed food, no matter if it's high quality or whatever. And they have an apple. We ate an apple together the other day. So, anyway, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. And, yeah. I'm going to see how many minutes I'm at at this point in this vlog because I'm trying not to make them too long. But I see that some of the weekly vlogs are over an hour. So, I'm thinking that maybe I can get away with it. We'll see, guys. And... 
Maybe you'll see me tomorrow and maybe this will be part one, the end of part one. Either way to go, stick around, like, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Speech on, selfies. Face centered. Speech oh, yeah, guys. I forgot to tell you that um, I'm going to go on and use a rinse in my hair today. So I may include clips of my hair after I um, wash and condition. Um, I did do a video before, if you want to see from start to finish, of me um, putting a rinse in my hair. And, and that's like a semi permanent color and also me conditioning like my wash day and so i took y'all through that entire process so don't forget to subscribe and then click on videos and you could see that video and so yeah but this tonight is possibly going to become a wash day i'm pretty sure it's happening okay guys see you in the next clip speech off Stop. face centered speech off my weekly vlog so it's thursday june 30th the last day of june and i am putting a rinse in my hair right now it's super early in the morning you can hear charles in the background but anyway my zit is still healing and i just wanted to show you guys my hair a little bit um but anyway i put a rinse in and so speech on face centered so that's what we're doing this morning. I'm just literally waiting. Um, I hold the rinse in my hair for about 35 minutes. And um, and then I'm going to rinse it out. Let me show you all the products I'm about to use. So I am going to use... Let me see. I am going to use this um, Aussie products. Y'all, hold on. Okay, here it is. I am going to use this Aussie. Um, what's it called? Silicon free conditioner, Moroccan oil conditioner. Um, I'm going to also use this shea butter conditioner by Be Care for color treated hair. I'm going to use this first to rinse out the rinse. So. That's going to be the product I use to wash my hair with, the conditioner. And then I'm going to come back and leave this in my hair while I bathe. Um, this Moroccan Oil by Aussie Silicon Free Conditioner. I hope y'all can see it. I don't know. I'm recording by faith. And then I'm going to put this three-minute treatment in, miracle treatment conditioner i'm gonna put that in last and leave it in my hair for a couple hours it says it's a three minute treatment but i'm gonna have that in my hair for a couple hours speech on face centered speech off so that's what's going on this morning guys and i'll um, catch up with y'all in the next clip i'm sorry yesterday i didn't get to do much recording um uh, Y'all didn't miss out on nothing. But I am going to have some fun footage later on today. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Make sure you eat breakfast. Hugs and kisses. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Speed one. Stop. Hi guys, it's VI Life with Kelly. And you'll never guess what I'm doing on this lovely Thursday afternoon. Not only am I eating Cheeto Puffs. Hopefully one of these sides are for y'all. And still drying my hair from this morning for y'all to see this lovely ponytail, which it has been pointed out to me that I still have three gray hairs. Even though I used my rinse and left it in my hair for about 40 minutes, and I decided that um, those three gray hairs are probably my kids. <laughs> anyway guys I'm on my way to Charleston, South Carolina I'm about to show y'all just the view a little bit because I hear it's nice out here it's pretty or something it was just raining a little bit um, once I get to where I'm going I will 
show you guys a little bit more. I've never been to Charleston, South Carolina. It's a road trip, an impromptu road trip. I guess we've been on the road for like three hours maybe. And so, yeah, that's what's going on on a Thursday. I hope you've been enjoying your day. Okay, guys, blessings, and I'll see y'all in the next clip. South Carolina at the Mount Pleasant Town Center Shopping Plaza. And there are tons of things in here. I didn't know the Belk Department Store had their own men's store. So that's in here. Bath and Body Works, The Buckle, Bed Bath and Beyond, Victoria's Secret, there's a pizzeria, there's Longhorn Steakhouse, P.F. Chang, the Hyatt Place Hotel is in here. Um, White House is in here. It's called White House Black something. Um, tons of goodies. So it's a nice place to be. Get out and walk and shop and look around and explore. So. That's what's going on, guys. It's a little after nine o'clock. I'll um show a little bit of this in the daytime tomorrow. And we'll just go from there. Good night. See y'all in the next clip. Hi guys. So um made it to the Hyatt place. In Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. This is the hallway. So I'm going to take y'all in the room right now. And before I get too busy. So as soon as you come into this room, you have your desk here. And then you have the restroom area here. You have your sink outside of the immediate area and then you have look okay you have you try to find this door like thing i think i need to walk a little further down so then okay yeah here's the like desk and everything and then look in here here's the actual shower and commode Hopefully that's clean. And then you just pull the door closed when you go in there. It's a sliding door. So that's that. And then they have like a towel rack here. And in the actual shower is a towel rack. But, um, you guys, let me see. Today's my friend Jeanette's birthday. Happy birthday, Jeanette! 
so cancer love cancer love okay guys so then here's the tv here and then this is like the living area with the um ottomans the footstools here and then here's the bed here and over here they have look on the lamps let me go over here on the lamps they have the outlets so you could charge your phones or whatever you need to do it's on both sides so they do have windows on both sides of the dresser and yep guys this is the other side with the nightstand and the lamp with the outlets so this is the entire room this is because this is their only um suite type and they do offer let me try to flip it over so y'all can see me i'm gonna see if i can find myself let me see oh uh oh okay okay i think i got myself anyway guys um they have breakfast here included the room was only 179 um with your triple a discount and um i'm trying not to have my face okay here it is anyway guys there it is so anyways, um, they have breakfast included. It's from 6.30 to 9.30 in the morning. So I'll show you guys what that looks like in the morning. Um, they do have happy hour here from 5 to 7 p.m. Um, included as well. They have a pool. They have garage parking. Parking is free here, which is super nice. Um, and then they kind of have like snack area where you could like pick up, grab and go some stuff. But anyways, guys, um, I will, okay, there I go. I will chime in with you guys tomorrow. I'm super sleepy. I came here um, to support a friend. Um, their daughter is being pre-screened for cancer and um, they're recovering from cancer themselves. And then their daughter is, um, their mom had cancer as well, if you, like 20 years ago. So they're just, um, getting ahead of it and pre-screening their baby so i'm supporting um, that effort and um i have been affected by cancer um in my life um something that i never expected but it's it's becoming almost normal um so anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next clip. Okay, guys, and we're going to have a happy Friday. And I'm not sure when I'm going to end this vlog, if I'm going to end it tomorrow or if I'm going to take it um, through Saturday and then do a separate 4th of July weekend vlog. Um, I'm pretty sure tomorrow morning will be or some point tomorrow will be the end of this weekly vlog. And then I'll be recording for 4th of July. So, yeah, guys. Anyway, this is my hair so far um, after I washed it. It's almost completely dry. And um, and I'll show you guys. my. Let me just take my hair down real quick for y'all. That's probably the better idea anyway. Because tomorrow, who knows what happens tomorrow. But... This is my hair so far, and I really didn't put that much products in this time, and I just left it, like whatever curl pattern I had. Why do I always, yeah, I've been doing good, and then I don't do so good. But anyway, this is what my hair is looking like, and it's almost completely dry, and I started washing it um, 12, over, like 14 hours ago. So, I'm doing natural hair this weekend, guys. Well, we'll see what happens. I can't commit to anything. But I'm pretty sure I'll be just rocking my natural curls. Okay, guys. I'll see you on the next clip. Hugs and kisses. Good night.
not really. Hi guys, it's um, Friday, the first day of July, the seventh month of the year, guys. And as promised, I told you I would show you a little bit during the day. We're getting out of here. We're leaving Mount Pleasant, South Carolina town center, and we're headed downtown Charleston, South Carolina, which I've never ever been in any of these places. And hopefully you guys are getting a good day. What's over here? You can see over here. You can see over here. Oh, Jack stars! Oh, let me. You know what? And let me show y'all me because I took my hair down, but I absolutely didn't do nothing else. Look, there I am, guys. Look. Ooh, yep. This is just my natural curl pattern with no products, nothing okay guys so and this is what um 24 hours after actually this is more like 30 32 34 hours after i um put the rinse in there and i put the conditioners because you guys know i don't use shampoo i only use conditioners in my hair because it's too stripping okay guys i'll see y'all in the next clip let me show you a little bit i don't know what's out here but i will um oh this is highway 17 so I will show you guys in the next clip to the Charleston. Yay! Okay. <laughs> okay guys, so here we are on the bridge in the daytime. Can we see stuff over here? Yay, so this is us leaving Mount Here's Pleasant, South again. Carolina. Here's the bridge. And Wowzer. The first of the month, wake up, wake up, get up, get your checks and come on. <laughs> Shout out to um, Bone Thugs, right? Wishbone, Crazy Bone, Flesh Bone. What do we used to say? Uh, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. <laughs> That's busy bone. Okay, guys. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Hug a little longer today. Be in the moment. All right, guys. See you in a second. Okay, guys. We're already in downtown Charleston. It's like historic. It's like a historic and older look and feel. And it's pretty small, guys downtown this is one of the main streets King here King street or king k-i-n-g k-i-n-g guys king street Got all, the all the clothing stores it's yes it really is storming it, we had the sun we had the sun open and now we have the clothing i'm glad i have natural hair right now just let it go Rack room shoes, guys. Sunglasses. Sunglass cut. Gucci shop coming. Oh, Gucci shop is coming, huh? It's over there on this side. Cake spade, all that. Oh, it's gonna be an outdoor plaza. What else? Take the next left onto Market Street. Then your Louis destination will be on the left. Wow, look at that Louis Vuitton, guys. They're getting it done. Okay, guys, I'll see you on the next clip. You guys, so we're in the parking garage. It's packed down here. I did not expect for it to be packed on a Friday in Charleston, South Carolina. It's packed. We're in this parking garage. You can't go anywhere because it stopped raining and then it just starts coming down for real quick. So I sent up a prayer for the rain to stop. So we're trying to go into a men's boutique inside of the Charleston Place Hotel. It's not that far, but we will be stopping the wet. If we don't wait for this rain to move on. But anyway guys, I'll show y'all in a minute. I want to show you my hair though. Let me see if it, let me just go back over. Let me see. Okay. Okay. 
That's awesome. Okay, turn around. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun on You guys can see my hair pretty much stays the length that it is. Okay. That's so annoying. Oh, here we go. Anyway. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to position this just perfectly. But anyway, my hair pretty much stays at the same length that it is, even when it's natural and curly. But later on tonight, I'm gonna put some, I mean, not tonight, tomorrow, I'm gonna put some product in it so it can like define the curls and everything like that. And we'll just go from there. But um, depending on how the weather goes, this might be the end of this weekly vlog. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for making it this far. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And look out for my 4th of July weekend vlog. That's going to be fun. Okay, guys. See you in the next video. Hi, guys. Oh, good, man. So, we are walking around downtown Charleston. You will never believe this. This mall right here, I mean, this hotel, the Charleston Hotel, has a whole mall in there. I'm so angry because I should have been recording. I went into this um, custom tailored suit shop called J. Frederick's and got size. I was really excited about it for law school. And, um, but they had uh, Pandora in there. They had Gucci, Louis Vuitton, um, you name it, they had it. And I went in this gift shop and we bought this dark chocolate pineapple um, candy bar, which I'm gonna show you guys when I get back in the park. And it says Charleston, Charleston Selection. Because it's a um, local chocolate factory. So are we in the Target? Yeah. Okay guys, we just went in the Target because I gotta give me a snack. And, um, but guys, now we're in Target, and this is all within a one, two second walk from, but the hotel has a whole mall in there, guys. Really nice. Um, we're probably going to cut back through there in a second, and then I'll be able to show you guys. Everyone says there's a place called Paul Steakhouse and 167, um, that's to dine for here, but the line is the wait is so long. Especially on the weekend. But anyway, I'm on the hunt for blueberries and blackberries. Maybe a bag of avocado. Yeah. And I'll put the in a minute. Hi guys. So guess what? We're walking back over here into the Charleston Hotel. So I'm gonna show you guys around. We just picked up some snacks out of Target. So we got some um, sliced watermelon, cantaloupe, um, peaches, blueberries, and that's about it. Guys. So, oh, and we got some pine bar, dark chocolate and blue cherry. So good. So I'm really happy about that. So this is called Meeting Street. And then there's another side of the hotel um, that has is on King Street. I'm not sure what side the target's on, but if you're on the side of this mall slash hotel where Louis Vuitton is and you come out the door, make a left if you're gonna come to Charleston. Okay guys, so we're almost back in the mall. Are we going in here now? Okay, let's see. It's nice out here, guys. If it's nice weather, we probably walk around and really just take our time. It was like a Tuesday or a Thursday. And then we could just go eat comfortably with them. Do all that. It's a hard day. Heck no. Let me see, guys. So, dang, this seems like it was longer than it took us to get over there, huh? Good evening. Hi. How are you? Pretty good. Happy thank Friday. you. Happy right, Friday. Thank you.
We need some plastic uh, utensils. Okay. Oh, want okay. weekend vlog and so thank you for making it this far i hope you're having a fantastic friday love a little more yeah. love a little more guys and i'll see you next video here i am let me turn around here i am here i am here i am here i am <laughs> Hey guys, so I wanted to show y'all, I forgot, um, this was the bag that we got at the gift shop in Charleston Place Hotel, and they didn't have any refrigerator magnets, you guys know I was sad about that, they had no shirts or anything that said Charleston other than a really small zip bag, and they had this, this is the candy bar I was telling y'all about in the previous clip. It's um, Charleston Selection, and this is the dark chocolate with pineapple, and the label says it's really good. Can you see this? Okay, great, guys. So, believe it or not, this candy bar is a little larger than my hand. If I have to guess, it's like maybe seven inches by four inches, or something, or maybe seven inches by three and a half inches or something, and it was $9.95. So I do believe her when she says it's delicious. And I'll let you guys know the verdict. Then they had a Pandora in there guys. So as you know I have a birthday girl on the 4th of July. So there's something in there. Can y'all guess what it is? 
If you guys been keeping up with the clips in my shorts videos, then you have an idea what it is. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching and spending this time with me, and I'll see you guys in my 4th of July weekend vlog.